Think of it as the Avengers of computer technology. By putting together two of the buzziest terms in technology, machine learning and quantum computing, and you get quantum machine learning. Do you know what happens when you do that? Something terrifying is bound to happen. Using quantum computers that are themselves um, working on the principles of quantum. Artificial intelligence is evolving, and this is affecting how humans engage with it. It's giving people and companies access to a whole new range of opportunities. For here is to establish a framework for insight. Even Michio Kaku asserts that this technology has the potential to reveal the universe's secrets. That's what gives quantum computers their power. However, to make matters worse, these technological advancements have opened the door to the possibility of new and terrifying weapons. This is so fearsome that scientists had to shut down the quantum computer. Why do scientists have such a fear of quantum computers? Does not understand slander versus reality. That has to be put in by a human. Why do quantum computers pose an even greater threat than AI? And what havoc would be wrecked if we were to merge quantum computing with artificial intelligence? Come along as we explore why something horrifying is happening and how quantum computers suddenly shut down. Everyone has probably broached the subject of robots replacing humans in some capacity, whether at work or in social settings. The advent of artificial intelligence, of course, sparked this whole controversy. This is due to the fact that artificial intelligence is defined as the ability of machines, namely computer systems, to mimic human intelligence. The goal was to make computers more effective and faster than people in doing automated jobs so that productivity could be increased. Artificial intelligence relies on a set of specialized tools for developing and training machine learning algorithms. How we live, work and play can be changed by AI, which is why it's vital. Furthermore, AI is already leaving its imprint in domains such as education, marketing and product design, and the fast increasing number of generative AI tools has ensured that this transition from science to art is complete. Modern AI has the level of self-awareness of a paperclip. Even with all the hoopla, like when an engineer at Google made the strange assertion that their AI system had come to life, and when Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, tweeted that computers will acquire human intelligence by 2029, the technology is still terrible at doing basic, everyday jobs. The question is whether or not the system has the biases that you intended for it to have. Right. The hyperbole surrounding artificial intelligence is understandable, given that Elon Musk had previously expressed concern that the technology could pose the biggest existential threat to humanity in the absence of government regulation. Regardless of whether computers will ever achieve human-like intelligence, the world has already called upon a different and just as deadly AI monster. Precisely because today's AI is little more than a brute, unintelligent system for automating decisions using algorithms and other technologies that crunch superhuman amounts of data, its widespread use by governments and companies to surveil public spaces, keep tabs on social media, generate deepfakes and unleash autonomous lethal weapons has become dangerous to humanity. The fact that the world hasn't managed to control AI, or at least the primitive technologies that pass themselves off as AI, should be a strong warning. Quantum computing is an even more formidable new technology that might cause mayhem, particularly when coupled with artificial intelligence. If physicist Michio Kaku is correct, then that is the future we can expect. He believes we are about to leave the digital age behind for a quantum period that will bring unprecedented scientific and societal revolution. Subatomic particles will replace transistors in computers, allowing for the release of enormous computational power. One physicist has likened it to putting a rocket engine in your car. According to Kaku, the advent of quantum computing will have far-reaching consequences, reshaping chemistry, biology and physics studies. 
it will allow us to do things like remove carbon dioxide from the air, convert it into fuel, and then recycle the waste products, a process known as carbon recycling. A new green revolution is on the horizon as we learn to harness atmospheric nitrogen without subjecting plants to the extreme conditions that cause fertilizer manufacture to eat up 2% of the world's energy. Because of this, we will be able to design more efficient batteries, which will extend the range of renewable energy sources. Current lithium-ion batteries can only store around 1% of the energy that gasoline has. It will resolve the technical and design issues that have prevented us from producing nuclear fusion power at a low cost and in large quantities. So, we can say goodbye to chemicals altogether thanks to quantum computers. Currently, the invention of vaccines and batteries is mostly based on trial and error. However, if one can precisely model chemical reactions, the use of bubbling flasks becomes unnecessary. Medics will be able to detect the onset of a new pandemic far before humans can, thanks to quantum computers' ability to analyze large and noisy datasets, model and test new treatments without ever coming into contact with a patient, and analyze molecule-level pharmacological mechanisms. Kaku imagines a future where quantum computers may detect cancer, years to decades before tumors form through routine liquid biopsies conducted by a smart toilet in your home. It is possible that quantum computers will eventually eliminate famine, disease, and climate change. On top of that, it will pave the way for a plethora of new, very effective medicines for diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. Quantum computing, which uses the principles of quantum mechanics to address issues that traditional computers cannot, is even more far-fetched than artificial intelligence. These so-called supercomputers are necessary because they allow scientists and engineers to tackle challenging challenges. You should know that quantum computers are incredibly faster at calculations than their digital counterparts. They achieve this by making use of qubits, which are like the ones and zeros in a traditional computer, the quantum version of bits. Qubits are representations of particle attributes, such as the angular momentum of an electron, as opposed to bits, which are electrical charges stored in transistors etched onto silicon chips. Qubits' superior firepower comes about because the laws of classical physics do not apply in the strange subatomic world, allowing them to take any value between zero and one and enabling a mysterious process called quantum entanglement, which Einstein famously called Spukhafte Fernwirkung, or spooky action at a distance. Despite best efforts, these mechanisms remain incomprehensible to the average individual. Kaku uses analogies of different usefulness to teach complicated notions like superposition and path integrals. For instance, he uses toy trains with compasses and mice in mazes. Beyond these, though, there is a crucial takeaway. Reality is quantum, and so quantum computers can simulate it in a way that digital ones struggle to. Computational ability to look at the structure in real time. Mother Nature's calculations are not done on a computer. The quantum principle is the language of nature. Hence, it stands to reason that quantum computers would be able to decipher all of life's and the cosmos's mysteries. Using the virtual lab of a quantum computer, one can model complex processes like photosynthesis, which is still a mystery to current science, or the interactions between proteins in the human body with pinpoint accuracy. Pharmaceuticals that target biological processes that have gone wrong, such as cancer cell proliferation or Alzheimer's disease protein misfolding, may become far simpler to design. Michio Kaku goes so far as to say that we could finally solve the mystery of aging and be able to put a stop to it. The world is about to accelerate in a manner that was previously considered unimaginable, all thanks to quantum computing. So why are scientists scared of it? After digital binary computers approach their limitations, computer scientists are looking to quantum computing as a potential future of the field. Because it can store a multitude of outcomes in its quantum state, 
quantum computing has the ability to provide a significant processing boost for AI and machine learning issues. Whether the devices will aid the rising tide of investment in enterprise AI is an open topic, and many questions remain about quantum computing. From their inception in the 1950s through their evolution into the foundation of today's multi-trillion dollar IT business, we have achieved remarkable success with the line of binary computers. We automated a lot of manual operations and changed the world with our incredible data crunching machines that we built with only two bits and three Boolean algebraic operators. The influence of computers on our contemporary lives cannot be emphasized enough, spanning from elementary accountancy and supply chain routing to computers used for flight control and our understanding of the genome. With the advent of quantum computing, previously intractable computational problems of enormous size and complexity may finally be solvable. Examples of this kind of attack include trying to guess a 256-bit algorithm passcode using brute force approaches. Data encrypted with AES-256 is considered secure precisely because it can't be cracked with a brute force attack. Well, they might, but it would take a very long time using the technology available today, so it's not really feasible. Such solutions are now within reach though, thanks to quantum computers' capacity to compute with several potential states. Next, we have artificial intelligence and machine learning. Deep learning, the most recent iteration of machine learning, is challenging the capabilities of conventional computers. Training large transformer models on traditional computers takes months. One such model is OpenAI's GPT-3, which has 175 billion parameters. It will take considerably more time to train future models when the number of parameters increases into the billions. That is why new types of microprocessors are gaining popularity. They outperform both conventional CPUs and graphics processing units. However, central processing units and graphics processing units are ultimately bound to classical binary computers and the constraints that come with them. Quantum computers, however, provide the promise of a quantum boost in performance and capabilities for a number of use cases, and AI is surely one of them. Quantum AI is the application of quantum computing to the execution of algorithms for machine learning. Quantum AI is able to do feats that classical computers just cannot because of the computational benefits offered by quantum computing. It's just like a metahuman with several powers. How terrifying and amazing is that? Meanwhile, the time to learn about the consequences of this technology, establish rules for it, and stop it from falling into the wrong hands is now before it's too late. The world must not repeat the mistakes it made by refusing to regulate AI. Even though it's still in its early stages, quantum computing uses a fundamentally different principle than conventional computers that rely on semiconductors. If the numerous efforts being pursued around the world succeed, these machines will be extremely powerful, executing tasks in seconds that would take ordinary computers millions of years to execute. Quantum computing initiatives are probably already underway in defense and other government research due to the technology's tremendous power and groundbreaking possibilities. Many areas of life stand to benefit from and be transformed by quantum physics if it ever makes it out of the lab and into practical applications. Improved weather forecasts, financial analyses, logistical planning, space exploration and medicine discovery could be possible with the help of quantum computers, which can rapidly process massive volumes of data that would be too much for any current system to handle. Someone somewhere will use them for evil, potentially exposing passwords on every computer in the globe, as well as financial records, private conversations and other sensitive information. Modern cryptography uses an enormous number of combinations that can't be deciphered in a reasonable amount of time using traditional digital methods. However, quantum computers could theoretically be able to brute force crack encryptions practically instantly by making use of quantum mechanical phenomena like superposition, entanglement and uncertainty and trying out combinations at an unprecedented rate. Just so we're clear, quantum computing is in its infancy.
though just where that is, we have no idea. Defence and other government research probably already include quantum computing studies due to the technology's revolutionary implications and enormous potential power. Claims and speculation regarding milestones are rampant because of the secrecy surrounding this type of research. A number of countries are reportedly working on programs, including China, Russia, Germany, the Netherlands, Britain, Canada and India. US competitors include not only Microsoft, Google, Intel and IBM, but also a slew of startups, defence contractors and educational institutions. Some basic applications, such as quantum sensors that can detect and measure electromagnetic signals, have been credibly demonstrated despite the lack of publicity. The International Space Station made use of one such sensor to take an accurate reading of the Earth's magnetic field. Another experiment involved the transfer of quantum data via a primitive quantum communication network by researchers from the Netherlands. Researchers eliminated the need for traditional optical fibres and achieved instantaneous transmission of quantum bits by employing a trio of miniature quantum computers. While these tests haven't demonstrated any real-world uses just yet, they may pave the way for a quantum internet in the future where secure quantum data transmission across a network of quantum computers occurs at speeds greater than light. That has, up until now, only existed in science fiction. Last year, the Biden administration issued two presidential directives, the first of which aimed to consolidate the National Quantum Initiative Advisory Committee under White House authority, and the second of which instructed government agencies to safeguard cryptographic systems from the security threats posed by quantum computing while simultaneously assuring US leadership in the field. In principle, when AI is combined with quantum computing, the revolutionary consequences could be far greater than the AI consciousness that skeptics have been expressing concerns about. With quantum technology's immense potential, we must learn from AI's regulatory blunders, which have led to things like algorithmic bias, which amplifies human prejudices, social media that promotes conspiracy theories and assaults on democratic institutions supported by AI-generated false news and social media posts. There is a risk that mistakes in computer programming will cause the machine to make judgments on its own, which could have negative consequences. The quantum community launched a rallying cry in 2021 to solve these issues immediately. In addition, key public and commercial intellectual property on quantum enabling technology must be protected against theft and exploitation by the United States adversaries. There are also matters of national defense to consider. The pinnacle of achievement in the field of security technology is the development of a cryptanalytically relevant quantum computer. This would allow for the cracking of blockchains and other forms of widespread public key cryptography. In the hands of a hostile regime, that is a highly lethal capability. According to experts, China seems to be ahead of the curve in several areas of quantum technology, including quantum processes and networks. Chinese researchers have constructed two of the most powerful quantum computers to date, and in 2017, they used cutting-edge satellite technology to establish the first global quantum communication network at the University of Science and Technology of China in Hefei. Sure, these openly disclosed initiatives are proof-of-concept scientific machines. They won't affect quantum computing's long-term prospects much. While it's true that all governments are trying to get a technological leg up on their enemies, these Chinese achievements could give China a leg up in the race against the West. So, it's critical to swiftly execute specific controls on developers, users and exports in addition to speeding up research. Strict protection of intellectual property rights, including patents, trade secrets and similar protections, is necessary. This is reminiscent of the Cold War era emphasis on controlling technology. Threats of intellectual property theft by nations like China have reached new heights due to the transformative potential of quantum computing. Democratic nations must implement restrictions commensurate with the capabilities of AI and machine learning in order to prevent future ethical crises.
These controls must also uphold democratic principles, human rights, and basic freedoms. In light of past experiences with or failures with other groundbreaking technologies, such as artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, biotechnology, semiconductors, and nuclear fission, governments must immediately start considering rules, norms, and responsible applications. To avoid repeating their AI gaffe, the United States and other democratic nations should start preparing for the quantum era of tomorrow right now. Quantum computing has endless possibilities, but when combined with AI, it will create a system that is far more powerful than what we have now. Perhaps too powerful for us to handle. The new technology will enable machines to learn and self-evolve. Anyway, the scientific community is reeling from the shocking news that NASA has suddenly stopped running its quantum computing research. The extraordinary move, which was coordinated with the American government, is a response to worries about the quantum computer's unanticipated and possibly harmful abilities. Exploring the possibilities of this revolutionary technology in space travel was the goal of NASA's massive quantum computing project. The goal of the initiative was to create quantum algorithms that could improve communication networks, optimize spacecraft trajectories, and possibly create new materials specifically for use in space. This sudden end to NASA's quantum computing research was caused by an unexpected event that occurred during a regular test. While running a complicated simulation, the quantum computer demonstrated an unprecedented degree of processing capacity, allowing it to solve a problem that had previously been thought to be unsolvable. Nevertheless, this astounding feat was accompanied by a similarly worrisome side effect. The quantum computer started producing incoherent and contradictory outputs. The quantum computer's unusual behavior alarmed scientists and government authorities who wondered if it had entered a new dimension of processing or communicated with aliens. The potential risks connected with such an unexpected and powerful machine spurred NASA and the US government to take fast action, halting operations and beginning a full inquiry. The recent cancellation of NASA's quantum computing project highlights the significant opportunities and inherent dangers of this emerging technology. Quantum computing has the potential to transform several industries, such as healthcare, science and engineering, but we must move cautiously to keep these supercomputers under control. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.